How's it going everyone? Welcome back to another video. I mentioned in one of my videos that I'm in the process of moving and I said that maybe once I'm packing my jerseys maybe I can do uh pretty much show you my whole collection since it's right here and I'm gonna box it up so so let's go ahead and take a look at what I got. So anyway let's go ahead and start out with the very first one you see here which is uh, Argentina's current jersey which this one here has the Copa America patch and the qualifying patch and loving football patch that I did on my I did myself. Uh, there's no name on the back or anything like that, which hopefully one day I can get Messi's name sent on here. But here's the first one. Second one we have another Argentina, which this one has like the when they won the Cup of America. And it has like the signature of all the people back here. I don't think this one is legit. This was gifted to me. Um, I don't think it's legit. I've never checked the, the numbers of the SKU to make sure it was legit or not, but I just have a feeling it's not. Uh, just because it feels a little bit different than the one I have. Although mine's the authentic, maybe this could be the replica. I don't know. I haven't checked, but I don't think it is legit, but it's here either way. Then here we have the jersey before that, the home jersey for Argentina. This was pl this. Uh, they used this jersey for the Copa America in 2019. Um, no name on the back or anything like that, but... If you haven't figured out, I'm part Argentinian, so that's why I have a lot of Argentina jerseys. Which over here you have the jersey that they wore during the 2018 World Cup. This one does have Messi on the back, of course. Um, then I have just a blank version um, right here. This is the one that I found at a discount store for like... Actually, I don't remember how much it was, but it was really cheap. And then here we have the away jersey for that same year, 2018. Uh, this one is the authentic one. Uh, there's no name on the back, but I got it for a really good deal on adidas.com a while ago. I don't remember how much it was though. So. Then we have Argentina's training match uh, shirt, which is I think also from the same year from doing the 2018 World Cup. Um, it was just cheaper, so I got this one first and then I got the other jerseys. This one here I've had for a very long time. This is Argentina's 2006 jersey. This is what they wore during the 2006 World Cup, obviously. Uh, there's no name as you can see, but I've had this since that World Cup and I would like to see if I could find Messi's name set or maybe like Raquel May, uh, Tevez, Crespo, I wouldn't mind any of them. Um, it would be cool to get the Germany World Cup patch on here too, but love this jersey, it's one of my favorites. But of course here's the best one. This one is Argentina's 1997 uh, home jersey, no name on the back. I got this from Classic Football Shirts, but I used to have this jersey when I was a kid, though I think it might have been a it might have been a replica of it, like a fake, I mean. Um, Cause that's what they did, that's what parents did back then when you were a kid and you were gonna grow out of a jersey really quickly. Um, but I love this jersey. It has really good detail, I don't know how I can tell from here, but you can see like, it says AFA, really small. I mean, you can probably only tell in the light, but love this jersey, classic in my opinion. This one is more of a re-release, it's not an original jersey. Um, but this is a re-release of uh, Maradona's jersey. I think this came out back in 2018 also. Um, so, of course, I had to, have to have it. Sticking with Argentina's side of things, we have River Plate. This is when they won Copa Libertadores uh, back in 2018. Um, this one, however, is a fake. It's not an original. Um, but for a fake, it's pretty decent. <laughs> but it also has my name on the back with 22 on the back. So, definitely a fake. But... You know, I think I mainly wanted to get it because I want to see how the quality of these fake jerseys are. They're okay. They're not, I, I wouldn't recommend them honestly, but you know, I was not able to find a legit jersey f during that time when I wanted one. And so I just kind of opted out to getting a fake one just so I can at least have something to wear during games. But if you can find an original one, do that because, yeah. I mean, it's cheap, but you get your money's worth and it's not, yeah. Moving on to England. I don't know if this is an official match or an official jersey, but uh, this is one of those reversible ones. Um, I'm not going to reverse the whole thing, but if you reverse it, it has the England patch right here. Um, it does say 2004 kickoff time, 2603.02, full time March 2004. It does have like the England like official thing right there. It's by Umbro. Um, but I found this at a thrift store a long, long time ago. I got it for like maybe like $5. So of course I had to pick it up. And within England, of course, now we're gonna go into the teams, which if you know me by now, you know that I'm a City fan. Let me go ahead and shift these a little forward. Okay, so of course we have the current season for Man City. 
Uh, this is one of the most recent videos I posted where I added the patches and I added Mr. Grealish on the back right here. Um, I didn't like this jersey when it first came out, but now I like it a lot, so. Oh yeah. Uh, this is a Manchester, not really an official jersey, but it's a jersey material. But it's a Manchester uh, collection. It has like a little droopy, scrambled egg logo right there. And it has 89 Manchester. And 89 was cool because that's the year I was born. Now you know how old I am. Then we have last season's City jersey. This one has uh, the Premier League patches and it also has the Guerrero on the back. And I definitely had to get it since it was the last season with City. This one here, it's another City. But this one is Champions League and it has the final Porto for Champions League with Aguero in the back also. This one is not an original though. This one again is a fake and I think I only got it just because I wanted to see again how the quality would be if I were to get uh, a custom jersey with like a specific match date on there. Again, it's okay, but it's nothing like the original thing. And you know, if I, I, I wear this from time to time, but I wear this because I don't care if anything bad happens to it. Like I can be reckless with it and I won't care. So, but it's still pretty, still pretty cool. Uh, we have last season city Jersey, Awake it. And this one has the Carabao cup patch on there. Also has Aguero on the back. Of course, Aguero is going to be my favorite player. He's from Argentina. So I'm going to get as many name sets with his as I can. And then same season, we have the third kid. This one just has the premier league but no name set on the back. This one's a bit awkward because this one's a training jersey that I got from Charity Stars in England. This one is allegedly owned by Benjamin Mendy, but I got it before everything happened, so don't hate me for that. But 22 is in general my favorite number because that's the day I was born. So I, was, I, I wanted it more for the 22 more than Mendy because I never really cared too much for him anyway. Next up we have the 2019 2020 season has a Premier League patch, but no name set. We have the away version of that. Uh, this one has no patches, but it does have a damaged Kevin De Bruyne. I don't know how we can tell, but it's like really dirty. I'm gonna hopefully do a video of me removing this and adding a better one or a newer one. This one's a third kid long sleeve. I really like the long sleeve in this one. Uh, no patches, no name set, but I do have plans for this one, so stay tuned for that one. Uh, this one is... This is 2018-2019 season. This is the third kit. has the Premier League patch right here, and of course, Aguero. I did a video on this one recently, on my instruction on how to do name set and patches. This one's 2017-2018. Uh, has Champions League patches, Respect patch, and Mr. John Stones that took forever to put on there. What a guy. This one is 2016-2017 home jersey. Uh, it's just plain. I think I got this on Depop for like $15, so couldn't say no to that. Uh, here's the same one, except this one does have uh, what's it called? Champions League patches, a respect patch right here. And oh, can you see that respect patch? And then it does have a damage Aguero, and by damage I mean just the O kind of got messed up there. That was done by me. But I'm going to keep it as is. I'm not going to remove the whole thing just for one letter. So it is what it is. We make mistakes sometimes. But it was also my first name set I've ever did. I didn't do one video or anything like that. I just did it. And then we have the away jersey for the same season. So has the tags and everything like that. I got it in a size small because that was the only thing they had. But I got it online brand new. I forgot what, what, our, what website I got it from. But it was only... I think it was only 10 bucks brand new. It might have been 15 But it was something like ridiculously cheap. And it's legit, 100% real. It's from like a, I want to say it's like Fanatics, but I could be wrong. Um, but yeah, it has, again, I put the Champions League patches on there. And then I put an Aguero name set on there as well too, so pretty cool. Um, I genuinely don't remember. I think this is 2015, 2016 season. Um, this one again also has, uh, what's it called? Champions League patch, Respect patch. Um, and then it has Sterling's name set on the back here. I bought it like this already, so this is not something that I did myself. It already came like that. Then we have 2012-2013 season. Um, this one does have Premier League patches, but I think if I'm not mistaken, these are the replica size patches, so they're a little bit smaller than the original ones. Has it on here too. And then there's nothing on the back. Then we have the very same jersey. This one's a little bit more worn down, and it's a size bigger, and it has a big stain right there. I don't know if you can tell or not, but. Uh, this one actually had the official size patches, but they were super washed out.
but I was only able to get the replica size. So as you can see here, there's like a an outline right there um, where the old patch used to be. I wasn't able to remove that, but I mean, you can't really tell. I mean, if anything, it has like a nice little border to it. This one does have Yaya Torre on the back. So that's pretty cool. Uh, let's see, moving on. We have the Away kit for the same season. And same thing, this had the player size patch. Um, and now there's like a nice little border. It's also kind of worn down, but whatever. And this one has company in the back. This one here, and I'm not 100% sure, but I'm pretty sure it's 2011-2012 season's uh, third kit. Um, but I could be wrong. You can correct me down below in the comments if I'm wrong, which it's okay if I'm wrong. But yeah, this is it. Plain, nothing on the back. And then over here, this is not like the official jersey or anything like that. It's one of those like retro jerseys that they released from time to time. And this one is from the 1969 FA Cup Final. Uh, it actually says it right over here, Wembley 1969. Um, it was, I think I got it for like 20 bucks. It was on sale on the city website. And you know, I, I think I was trying to get like free shipping or something. So I was like, all right, let me see what else I can add on. And I just got this. Uh, but I actually like it a lot. And I heard that next season's jersey is gonna look just like this. So I'm excited for that. All right, so now keeping it on the England side, we do have an additional jerseys as well. I'm not an Arsenal fan, I think a lot of you guys know that, but I got this, I wanna say for like $8. Again, on uh, some online sale, like clearance, give up, like just trying to get rid of stuff. And so, <laughs> I figured I'd pick it up, why not? It's only like $8, so it's size small, so I can't even wear it anyway, so. Um, but, you know, we'll see what I do with this one. So now we have Arsenal's, I think this is 2000, 2001 away jersey. This is one of the reasons why I started col uh, collecting jerseys or why I started like, you know, had an interest in jerseys because it has a big Sega logo. And if you know me, you know that I love video games and video game sponsors on a soccer jersey. It doesn't get better than that. Obviously, there's the iconic Nintendo on Fiorentina, um, but Sega was still pretty big back then. And, you know, this was this was huge. I would like to maybe get some kind of Premier League or Champions League patches on here, maybe get like Henri or something on the back. but. As it is right now, I'm totally happy with it. Um, I love, like I said, this is the reason why I started collecting jerseys to begin with, so. There it is. And of course, I'm not a Chelsea fan either, but I came across this jersey on Depop. I think it was like 25, 30 bucks, and it had like the Premier League patches right here, which they seem legit, they feel legit. Everything about this jersey, I looked up the product code in the inside, this jersey is legit, um, but you never know, sometimes they can put fake patches on there, but they feel pretty legit. And then it has Balak on the back, so 25 bucks, 30 bucks, can't pass it up, right? Uh, next up we have Leeds United. Uh, I will probably say Leeds United last season was my second favorite team. Um, Marcelo Bielsa being the coach, and he, him being from Argentina, who I remember very fondly from the 2002 World Cup. Um, so, And I really like the way this jersey looks, it's just so nice. And I got the Premier League patch on there. And then of course I got Patrick Bamford in the back because I do like him as a player and I was really happy when he finally got called up to the England squad. So, and it was on sale, <laughs> so why not? Uh, Newcastle United, honestly the only reason why I have this jersey is because it's a, the movie Goal. <laughs> and then we have a 1998 away Newcastle United jersey and I got this because again, Depop, it was only 30 bucks. I don't know if it's real or not. I tried to look up to see if it was real or not, and I think I did a video on this as well, but it looks legit and it looks amazing and I love it. This was on a mystery box. This is a Sheffield Wednesday's 2017-2018 away kit. I like it a lot. I mean, it's not the most amazing design out there. I don't know what the sponsor is. Oh, it's an energy drink. Duh. Uh, <laughs> but I like, and I might get crucified for saying this, but I like how that looks like Harry Potter. Like a Harry Potter little owl. Uh, next up we have Burnmouth and I have, I'm guessing this is the away, well I have this, so I have this one and then I also have this one. One is the away and one is the third, I can't remember which one is which, but believe it or not I got this at a discount store. You know what, maybe I'll make a video on how much I got these for, but they were pretty cheap, like less than $20 cheap for each of these ones. Um, another Depop jersey over here. I don't know if it's real, but I mean everything as far as like the tags over here, um, everything here kind of shows that it's real. The only thing that kind of throws it off here is that this one, this little the little brand right here is not completely straight. 
but everything else about it feels real. Oh, I'm sorry, this is Blackburn. I believe 1998, uh, away jersey. Um, but I got this, I'm, I'm, I'm not kidding. I'm pretty sure I got this for $20. Someone just got rid of it on Depop and I picked it up. When it's $20, like, yeah, I mean, you, you can still be risking buying something that's fake, but it's just $20 and I think it's real, so that's a plus. Moving on to international teams. Um, I'm not sure if you guys watched my video where I was talking to my friend Bobby about this jersey, but this one is a 1994 away Ireland jersey that my fiance's co-worker gave to her to give to me because he, you know, found out that I was doing YouTube stuff with uh, soccer jerseys and he had no need for this anymore, so he gave it to her to give to me. And I never met this guy, and he, I think he quit, like, the next day, so... Um, or he had already put in his two weeks, and the last day he came in, he gave her the shirt, so I was like... I never met this guy, but I want to thank you, whoever you are. And I love this jersey. Uh, it's one of my favorites for sure. Do we really have to talk about that? Let's not talk about that. Now we have Colombia, also got in a mystery box. Um, yeah, Colombia. Uh, we have Costa Rica, also from a mystery box. Uh, I actually really like this jersey a lot. I like how I like how shiny it is over here. It's just a beautiful jersey. Of course, we got Belgium over here, also from a mystery box. A beautiful jersey, and I want to get uh, De Bruyne's name set on the back here. Maybe Lukaku, but I don't think I would like De Bruyne a little bit better. Actually, I wouldn't care. And we have uh, Serbia's um, training match shirt. I think I showed this off in a video before. It's just, it's just that. And then we have Serbia's away jersey. Again, it's just stuff that I got at discount stores because they were... It was during the Euros also, so I'm not sure if maybe that was the reason why they were there. It was like towards the end of the season. Um, almost had Sweden, but Switzerland right here. And we have Austria. Beautiful. And then from a mystery box, we got China. Really nice jersey as well. So now we're going to move on to the Spain side of things. And we have Spain's national team jersey that I got a mystery box. I ended up adding uh, the Euro patches over here. Um, there's no name set on the back. And honestly, I probably wouldn't get one because I don't really know who I would want. I'm not a crazy fan of anyone on the team. At least for this, this, this Euro team. Um, but yeah. This is a re-release of the 1994 Spain jersey that came out in 2018. Um, it looks just like it. I mean, obviously the quality is a little bit different. Um, but yeah, it's all made by Adidas, number 15 on the back. I also have the shorts. And the shorts are really tiny and it's funny looking. And when I wear it together, it looks great. Then we have Real Madrid. Uh, I do not remember what year this is from. Let's see if it'll tell me in the tags. Or I guess it'll say here. I think it's 2018, but I got this at Adidas Outlet and you know, here it is. I found this one over here at a thrift store. It's not, it's, it's, it's a fake. It's a replica and I don't know if you can tell in the video that it's a replica, but it's very obvious when you're in person. Uh, but I still got it because it had Ronaldo on the back and it was $5, so. Now I got Barcelona. Um, this is uh, the current third kit for Barcelona. And I bought it just plain with no patches, no name set. Um, but since I got it, I did add the Champions League patch right over here. And I also did add Aguero's name set. And of course I had to get Aguero. Obviously he's not on the team anymore because he had to retire from soccer, but had to get it. He's my guy. This is one that I got on Depop that ended up being a fake, but it still looks great. And it has Messi on the back, so. It is what it is. I mean, big jerseys mean I can just wear them with confidence and not have to worry about it getting damaged or whatever. Uh, this is another Depop jersey. I got it for really cheap also. Uh, this one just has the La Liga patch right there. and But there's no names in the back. I would like to get a messy name in the back, of course, for this one. Here's another Barcelona away jersey. I do not remember what year it's from. Um, it does have La Liga and the Champions patch right here and it also does have Messi on the back and this one I got from classic football shirts here we have another Barcelona again I'm gonna be horrible with the years I'm not even gonna mention them anymore unless I truly know um, but same thing has like a Leo patch right there and has no one in the back but this is another one where I got it at a discount for at some random online retailer and I think I want I think I pay like $20 for this one I have a really great story about this jersey, but I'll save it for an actual video because it's it's a good one. 
Um, this is an older jersey. I think it was from 2007, 2008. It has like it has a La Liga patch and everything. It doesn't have a name in the back, obviously, but uh, it's it's a fantastic jersey. I love this jersey so much, and I have a great story attached to it that I'll tell at a, at a later video. But stay tuned for that one. Moving on to the USA, which is where I'm from. Uh, away jersey. Yay. They only have the home jersey. Um, I mentioned this in another video, but this is the, this is a men's jersey, but for the women's national team, which is why it has four stars over here for the many times they won the World Cup. Uh, no names it on the back. Same with the other one, no names it on the back. Uh, this one right here is another one of my uh, favorites. Not because of the play or anything like that, but this is a 1994 USA uh, World Cup jersey, and it has number 22. Again, this is my favorite number. This is kind of more the reason why I wanted it for the number 22. But it is um, Alexis Lalas, and I told a story in another video that my childhood nickname was, well, I guess is still with my family, but it's Lalo. My real name is Federico, but my nickname was Lalo. And when I saw Lalas play for the first time, I think back in 98, I was like, oh, his name is similar to mine. And so I kind of had like a little, I don't want to say a bond or connection with him, but I just always remembered him for that. So when I came across this, I had to pick it up. No brainer. Moving on to MLS teams. Uh, Atlanta United. No name set. DC United. No name set. Another DC United. This one I did get in a mystery box. This is the away jersey for the home one that I just showed off. And then this is one of those, uh, I forgot what they called it, Prime Blue series. Um, a lot of teams had this jersey. I think it's just a training match jersey or whatever, but it was pretty cool. Found it at a discount store. Inner Miami. I liked Inner Miami's jerseys. I love the pink that they have in their jerseys. This one's the away jersey. It also has David Beckham on the back. Had to get it. Then we have the home jersey for last season. It still has a tag for where I got it from. How much did I pay for it? I paid $25 for this one. Uh, nothing on the back, but still really nice. Uh, LA Galaxy. This one I got many years ago at a thrift store. I got lucky. I think I got it for like $5. It's real, shockingly. And it has David Beckham on the back. Win. We have a 2018 LA Galaxy jersey. And this one, you can guess. I'm sure you can guess. Ibrahimovic on the back. Had to. Minneapolis. Nothing much more to say about this one. This one here was featured on a video uh, that I got from Depop and I ruled that this one was a fake. But I still love the way it looks, especially because again, video game sponsor, Xbox, and this one looks more like the Xbox original. So I thought it was pretty cool. I have Dempsey on the back too, but as you can see, it's completely coming off. And I should probably remove it. But a part of me doesn't want to remove it because I also like the way it looks, even though it's come falling apart. But here it is. All right, so moving on to the rest of Europe. I have PSG's current season away jersey. Um, I got this on Depop for $15. It has stains on it and that's why I think someone got rid of it for that reason. Uh, no names on the back or anything. It's just just that. I will eventually get some names for this one. And we have a Marseille training jersey. Again, nothing much to it. We have Bayern Munich's third kit for the 2019-2020 season, I believe. Really nice jersey. Um, I did get a Bundesliga patch for it. I just haven't put it on yet, but it's in the works. Uh, we have Inter Milan. Beautiful jersey. I almost sold this, but then I decided not to because I just love the way it looks. It's just such a beautiful jersey. Then we got Juventus. I plan on getting a Ronaldo name set on this eventually. Has the Champions League patches on there. I bought it like that already. It was really... I got it for a really good sale during the holiday. Did you see that one coming? <laughs> well, don't get too excited because it's not a real one. It's a replica. Um, I got this many years ago and I knew I was getting a replica, but I just, like I said, did a game sponsor. And I, this is something that I've always really wanted to have, but I can't afford to spend $400 on a real one. And I really wanted about these dudes on the back too. So I settled for a replica just so that I can at least wear it and not have to worry about it. But it's one of my favorites and I will, well, hopefully one day I can find an original one. That will be my dream. And Batiste Duta is uh, my favorite player of all time. And probably because he's the first player that I really was like, whoa, you know? 
him and Brazilian Ronaldo. But then we have Roma. I don't know what season it's from. But no names that nothing. And then we're moving on to Napoli. And this one came out um I don't know if it was late 2020 or early 2021, but this is the tribute jersey they did to Maradona. And of course, I had to get it, so. I got this on Amazon for like 20 bucks. I don't know if it's real or not. And this thing is already kind of coming off. Maybe I just didn't do a good job of putting it on there. But <clears throat> it came with this patch like separate. I don't even know that's where I was supposed to put it, but I put it on there. And I don't know if it's real or not, so I just pretend that it's not real. And I just wear it to mess around with, and you know, here it is. Here's another Napoli. This one is a match worn for the reserve team that I got from Classic Football Shirts. Um, I got it again because I just wanted to make up for shipping, and so it was pretty inexpensive for what it was. But I love the way it looks. Unfortunately, because it's player fit, <laughs> I can't fit it, so maybe my kids can wear it one day. I love the way it looks though. So now moving on back to South America where the other half of my family is from, we have Peru. And this is a limited edition uh, jersey that came out for Cup America 2019. Um, normally jerseys are white and red, but this one they made a limited edition for black and red and it's beautiful and I love it. Uh, no name in the back and I probably won't put a name on the back, I just love the way it is as it is. And yeah, it's one of my favorite ones. Then we have 2018's away jersey, so the ones they wore during the World Cup. I got this for like, maybe like $15, $20 on WeGotSoccer.com right after the World Cup. It was very cheap and I love the way it looks. It's great. Um, this one was actually my dad's. He gave this to me. He said he had it from when he was younger. Uh, but I don't know if it's real or not. Normally when they say Peru on here, it usually leads to, to me to believe that it's not real. Normally the real ones will say FPF, Federación Peruana de Fútbol. But it's still my collection and I love the way it looks. So Then we have a team from Peru called Universitario, or in short, La U. And this one is not a real one, this one's a replica. I, I got it in Peru at a place where they sell replicas. Um, but you know, this is a... Uh, this is my cousin's favorite team, and by default, I had to be a fan of that team also, so here it is. Moving on to Mexico, uh, we have this home jersey over here. I do not know from what year it is, um, but again, I don't think this one's an original either. Uh, this is also gifted to me by the same friend who gave me the Argentina jersey. He's always gifted me stuff. He's a great guy. Um, but I still love this jersey, the way it looks and everything like that, so. Then we have Chivas, which I also got in a mystery box. Um, I, I love vertical stripe jerseys, so that's yeah, pretty cool. And then I found this one at an outlet, a Puma outlet, for I want to say like $30. This is an away jersey. I'm not sure if it's the same season, but I couldn't say no to it. <clears throat> now, here we have Brazil, and you're probably wondering, as an Argentinian, why do I have Brazil? <laughs> well, it was gifted to me also by the same person. Uh, it, and again, it's not uh, an, uh, an original, although it does, this one actually feels like it's good quality, like an original would be. Um, <clears throat> it's got Neymar on the back, and I don't hate Neymar, so it's alright with me. I don't mind it at all. I'll gladly have this in my collection. And then finally, we have, I can never pronounce it, but I think it's called Kubido Iwata. Uh, it's a 1998 uh, jersey from the J-League. Um, it has a J-League patch right over here. It has a Nestle sponsor, Yamaha sponsor. I wasn't able to figure out if it was real or not, but this was kind of leaning like it was real. I got it from Depop for very cheap also. Uh, I think it looked great. I love this jersey a lot. It is one of my favorites. And that pretty much concludes my jersey collection. Did you keep count? Because I didn't. Let me know in the comments how many jerseys I have. Because I don't feel like counting right now, but I do want to know. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed that. Hopefully it was a good, I don't know, time killer while you're going to work or enjoying a lunch break. But, but if you did enjoy this video, leave a thumbs up down below. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. If you want to see more cool content like this. And as always, I will catch you in the next one. Take care, y'all.